What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my YouTube channel if it's your first time. <music> to this video you clicked on it for a reason so hopefully you love home goods as much as i do and you're excited to see a huge home goods haul this is a lot and i'm actually going to break it up into two videos as you probably noticed when you clicked on this it says part one um hopefully part two is up around the same time so you can just head on over to the second video if this is your jam and you're liking a lot of the things that I'm showing. I just figured it's a lot, so I wanted to make it into two videos. Um, hopefully that works for all of you. So yes, if you've seen my other videos, we bought a home and we moved in on December 1st. So it's February now. Um, over the last few months, I have been actively <laughs> shopping at Home Goods, and I I'm super excited to show you all the things that we've purchased for our home. Our home style, I um, have discovered, <laughs> is called Modern Organic. And it's really about bringing earthy elements into the home to add a little bit of peace and comfort just from those, you know, materials that are often found outside like wood for example and like rattan and just elements that are super earthy bring them into the home and so you'll notice that a little bit in this haul and hopefully in some of my other videos that are coming soon you'll see kind of my home decor style you can kind of get a little bit of a glimpse here as i'm sitting on my couch that just got here this week ordered it back in october so that was fun we are in love with the couch and that's why i wanted to start doing a lot more home decor type videos because I feel like now that the couch is here and other pieces are starting to get here it's just the home is coming together and it's a good feeling so lots of a home decor type of videos coming soon which I'm again super pumped about but wanted to just give that little spiel so you can kind of understand why I purchased some of the things that I did at home goods because it just goes with our modern organic style I'm gonna get into the video I'm trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to say I am going to show a lot of the um, haul items like I have them physically right next to me but some of the items I actually already recorded little clips of that I'm just gonna probably talk over and show you because I feel like some pieces you need to see like how I have them um, in the home I think it just makes them look a little bit nicer so just an FYI that I'm not going to be sitting here the whole time. You're going to be seeing other parts of my home. Also, so just like some tips with home goods shopping. Because I think I either talk to people that love home goods and understand like how it works. And other people that are like, oh, it's too overwhelming. I can't find anything or whatever. Um, I would just suggest like take time and go to home goods when you don't necessarily even like need anything and just browse around and see what you're drawn towards and then kind of go home and look in your house and say okay like i was drawn towards this type of piece what does that mean what is my style where could i see certain things going and just kind of start to like piece it together like art you know your home should be like a big canvas that you can kind of like paint however you want and i really didn't mean for that to be <laughs> cheesy and poetic but just obviously it's super relevant to me right now with just like decorating our home. I'm really proud of how it ended up coming out. And I think it's because I took a lot of time to think through like what style I wanted and finding pieces at home goods. I'm gonna be doing a Target haul soon and an Amazon haul because Amazon actually has an awesome home decor selection um, as well. So I don't know, don't be too overwhelmed if you are overwhelmed by home goods because there are some amazing finds there that hopefully you'll see in this video. So let us get into it again, Courtney, long spiel at the beginning of your videos. You're never gonna stop, are you? No. So I thought it would be good to start with some throw pillows and throw blankets because home goods is where it's at for good quality pillows and blankets. And so, you can kind of see some of them. So I'll start with this guy. So I really like neutrals, as you can see in this little area of my home and my whole living room is just super neutral. And so I wanted good quality neutral pillows. And something that you should always look for at home goods is feather like down pillows or feather, whatever it's called. Basically just look for <laughs> feather pillows because 
A lot of pillows have material inside of them, it varies, that are really sturdy. Like see how this one is, I can shape it however I want, like it's square, and then you always wanna be able to give a pillow a good chop, and feather pillows are the best for like a beautiful chop. And this pillow I've actually seen a few different times in home goods. it's super good quality, not too expensive. You're obviously gonna pay a little bit more sometimes for better quality pillows, but it's gonna last so long. And I love neutral because I can use this year round. This guy, another one you can tell, is feather inserted. Um, and I love this pillow. I wanted something kind of abstract. Um, you can't see my rug right now, but it's super like abstract cream and black. And so I wanted to have some sort of black in my pillow assortment. So saw this and loved it again. A good chop and just really good quality. We love that. Also, I have this pillow. Another thing that I love to do with pillows in my bedroom, spare bedroom, everywhere really, is to have an assortment of texture. It can be um, challenging to find a lot of different colors to incorporate into your pillows, and especially me, I'm super neutral. And in order to have still some depth to like my couch with the pillow arrangements i wanted to mix it up and so i went with a lot of different textures as you can tell all of these pillows are different like feel have different feels to them so this is super fuzzy as you can kind of see so i love that and again has an awesome chop and i don't know i just really like the variation in these pillows and i have some other pillows that go on the couch but they're not from home goods so those will be coming in a target haul definitely check that out soon and i have a random pillow this is on in our spare bedroom and i just thought it was cute again like kind of boho like my style is a little bit boho at times um but i don't know i just like this pillow so they have a lot of great longer pillows for like bedrooms um i don't like pillows long like this on my couch i just think it kind of takes up space but that's a good bedroom pillow okay so i have three throw blankets from home goods and they are all a little bit different two of them are from my living room one as you can see is completely different color this one is actually from my bedroom the light dusty rose color and it's so soft such good material it lays out like the size of a queen bed so it is really big and it has fringe on the side, as you can kind of see. Um, but a tip for good blankets is to look for those that are made in like India, Turkey, like honestly outside of the US are my favorite <laughs> quality throw blankets from um, Home Goods. I've just noticed in my search, they're a little bit more, um, the materials and the fibers are just more like organic, natural. They're not like machine made. Um, the US loves machine made everything. So same with my rug, again, not part of this haul, but I was on the hunt for a super organic, like natural fibered rug that was hand woven or hand um, like needed and found one. Wasn't cheap, but it's worth it. Some things you just gotta pay for. So another one, and again, this one I believe, Yes, this one's made in India. This one is like one of my favorites. The colors are so beautiful. It was in our spare bedroom for a while, but now I have it out here. Material is just so nice. It has like these big tassels just like separated throughout. And blankets are a little hard to show, but you kind of get it, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, just like a gorgeous, gorgeous print to it and I really love this one I saw it and we weren't even on the hunt for blankets and I was with Jonathan and he was like just put it in the carriage I know you're not gonna leave without it I was like yes this one is actually really similar to the one I just showed um and with the, as far as like the tassels go and the print is kind of similar it's just obviously all cream love this one too it's so cozy and this one I like because it's heavy um, and I'm someone that really likes not just like the warmth of the blanket, but like the pressure of it. So um, I always, when I'm trying to get cozy and watch a movie, want like a heavier blanket. And this one is really big as you can, as you can see. Always when you're in home goods, like obviously you can look at the blankets, but hold it in your hand and just like get to know the weight of it and see what will work for you. Some people don't like heavy blankets, but I do. So those are my three throw blankets from home goods. The next two items really are woven baskets. I really wanted 
woven baskets one because again it's about bringing those natural elements inside the home so i loved how earthy they were and i wanted something to hold like things that we need in our living room that i don't want to be visible um because for our like media station media console we just have a um, reclaimed wood floating shelf. So love these baskets, super neutral, and um, they look really nice. And if like you're not into modern organic and you want, um, I don't know, a different vibe for your living room, you can still find baskets at home because they have so many different kinds with more color, more style to them if you're not as neutral. Um, and it's a great way to store things and it looks really nice. And draping a nice blanket over it just adds a little something. So next I'm actually gonna show you a clip too, but first, I will show you, it is white geodes. Can you see that? I, oh my gosh, so I follow someone on Instagram and YouTube, his name is Arvin Olano, and he is incredible. He's the reason that I have, I think, the home decor style that I have, because he made me realize how much I loved it. He actually started talking about white geodes at Home Goods, and oh my goodness, the quality of them, is incredible and if you look at like white geodes from like restoration hardware or um i think like crate and barrel you can pay so much money for them but home goods constantly has random white geodes like thrown within those like sections in the middle that are a little more like knickknacky type of items and i just started collecting white geodes and I wanted to make this white geode bowl. And so again, Arvin inspired me to do something like this and I think it looks so good. I've never seen it done before um, and the quality of these geodes is so incredible. I think you can find some at Home Goods that don't show as much of the crystals. They're more of an enclosed rock. And so I just kept looking and I found some of these gorgeous, gorgeous, um, super crystally geodes. And so I made it into a little bowl and I think it looks awesome. So white geodes, definitely, Take a look at home goods. They come in different prices depending on the quality of the geode, but um, I think they're super affordable and just add, again, that earthy element to your home. And I think these can be in like a boho style home or even like a, I don't know if you have like a nautical style home or whatever, but I think white geodes can really just add that element of earthiness. Anyways, I could talk about geodes forever, clearly. The next three items are <laughs> For my dog and so if you don't have a dog and you don't care you can just skip right along but i will say even if you have like a cat or any type of animal home goods has the cutest options for your animal i feel like if you're shopping for like things for your dog or cat you probably just think to go to like pet smart or pet sense wherever you're from whatever it's called um but home goods has really good options and i feel like for me, like, yes, these next three things are for my animal, but they're visible in my home. People see these items all the time when they're at my house, and so I wanted them to be cute. So, so the first item is my dog, Dobby's, um, food and water dish. And so I saw this one and I thought, one, it just matches like the vibe of my house, the colors, the earthiness. It has like metal with wood, and it just looks really nice. Next is his food storage container. We just had like a big plastic container for a while, and honestly, like, it just was an eyesore and so this new container just makes me happy to look at it has a little paw print on the top i think it's so cute and then lastly is his bed so this was such a good find i was just looking frantically for a cute dog bed that would look nice in the house and we move dobby's dog bed from the living room to the bedroom constantly depending on where we're hanging out if we have people over we want him to like place and so i wanted something that was going to transition well be neutral and still have style to it so so found this and I'm obsessed with it. He has his own little blanket on the dog bed. And yeah, those are just some, some dog finds at Home Goods if you care. Sorry if you don't care, let's move along. Next find, I don't know what to call it, but I think it's so cool. And I will give Jonathan, my husband, if you're new here, credit for finding this. It is like, I call it a genie bubble Thing. But I think it's so cool. He found it and he was adamant about getting it and it actually was pretty expensive for home goods Not much. I think like $50 $40 maybe when he first found it I was like we don't need this but I now love it and it's like the centerpiece on my coffee table usually and I don't know It's cute. Let me show it to you, right? <laughs> it's just this <laughs> Cool functional right it actually does come off um little genie bubble thing i don't know what to call it but i just think it's super again abstract i love 
things in the living room that have visual interest that make people go like whoa maybe i wouldn't have bought that but i like it let me look more oh now i like it i'm inspired like you know what i mean i don't know i just like having things in the house that are not super normal like not items that you see in everyone's home i like having things that are different so um this is definitely that so next up is actually a coffee table book and it is the architectural digest at 100 a century of style architectural digest like it does not get better than that for like home decor and inspiration and just they did it right with this book it's so neutral the color is beautiful like the binding <laughs> is so nice and so i just think it's super stunning and it's a book that I actually care to look at inside like I just open to a random page and it's just so beautiful like the colors inside and it just gives me inspiration. I love this book. It is constantly on display. I've been moving it around throughout my living room to see where I really like it but Home Goods has awesome finds. I also love their like worldly books like books that show places we have a book from Italy um we have a book my mom gave me one it's called cabin porn and it's just like all gorgeous like cabins that are just super cozy to look at and so i just love having books that are interesting for your guests to read and look at when they come to your home so that's that book okay so just two more items for part one and then i'm gonna jump into part two but next is actually these beads and i don't know exactly what they're called but i just call them my home decor beads i saw inspo as i was starting to look through more modern organic home styles and i kept being drawn to these beads that i think are so beautiful and there's so many ways to utilize them in your home and that's another tip too like I love finding pieces that I can think of multiple places that I would put them in my home because then they're functional and they're worth the price and so these beads right now I have in this bowl um, from Crate and Barrel that I love it's on my windowsill currently and they just drape over the bowl and it's so beautiful to me. Beads are super fun to incorporate in your home. My mom right now is kind of in the process of doing like a farmhouse type vibe for her living room and she wants beads too. Like you can incorporate them into different home styles. So definitely keep a lookout. Home Goods has good style or good quality beads. Last up for this video is actually candles. So Home Goods has an incredible candle selection and I'm not talking like Yankee candle discounted like old scents like they have such good unique smells and looks to their candles that i love and so i personally love again shocker neutral colored candles and black candles are my favorite especially around like the holiday time winter like a fur smelling candle that is just chic is my vibe and this was probably like 9.99 for this big huge candle it's so good better quality in my opinion than yankee candle i'm sorry i'm not into like super fragrant candles that are like fruity smelling and like floral um that are bright colored i like just like neutral or black earthy smelling candles so home goods has really good options if that's what you're into yes that is the last item for part one of this video i hope that you stick around and go jump to part two and i also hope that you subscribe and like this video if you did like it and comment below if you're a new subscriber i love saying hello to new people that i meet on this platform so thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you in part two